Carrie Barber is a best-selling author and founder of Lighthouse Catholic Media. Jesse Romero is a retired law enforcement officer, a former kickboxing champion with a master's degree in theology. And together, they share a passion for evangelization and PhDs in common sense. It's the Terry and Jesse Show on Immaculate Heart Radio. To join the show, call 888-526-2151. Now here's Terry and Jesse. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. High energy, blue collar Catholic radio, Terry and Jesse show. Here's what we'd like to talk about. We'd like to talk about things that matter. What matters right now to us in the culture? Well, what matters is the whole issue of the transgender bathroom bills. We like to talk about how you think it impacts us. Let me give you, for example, you won't hear this from the mainstream media. They don't talk much about it. But common sense tells us, as people of faith, that it's not prudent to allow a man to use a woman's bathroom, even if the man thinks he's a woman, especially if your daughter's there or your young daughter's. Case in point, let me give you a couple of incidents. You can discover this very easy just by looking at the Internet. Here's one, a couple of charges that have been filed. Jason Palmer, 33 years old, arrested by the L.A. Sheriff's Department. He's of Palmdale. He was arrested uh, on a Saturday after security offers at a Macy's store. They reported a man in a woman's bathroom. The security officers contacted him. And uh, basically, the man was uh, arrested leaving the store. And uh, he was basically there just looking at, staring at women. How about this one? A 51-year-old man wearing women's clothing was arrested for allegedly undressing in front of children at Walmart. This this was uh, Norwood Burns, 51. He has a long record of indecent exposure. And he was on probation for public indecency. When the latest incident occurred in a woman's bathroom at Walmart, how about this one? A young man was wearing a bra and a wig, and he was arrested on a, on a weekend after he was seen in a woman's bathroom at Everett Community College. The police responded to the call at 1.30 after a college employee saw the 18-year-old go into a woman's restroom, and the officers learned the man had gone into the restroom while two women were inside, and uh, the man was identified as Ta- Taylor Bueller. He, uh, of Lake Stevens, he was placed under arrest, and uh, the the officers found that he was wearing a wig, a bra, and had a pair of women's panties in his front pocket. Here's one more, and then I'll flip it over to Terry. Here's another one. Uh, Brentwood, Missouri. Uh, a Missouri man was arrested April 23rd after allegedly secretly filming women in a Target dressing room. His name is Matthew Forstel, 26 years old, facing felony charges for invasion of privacy in the second degree, and unlawful possession of a firearm. Uh, Mr. Forstel allegedly held a camera phone under a, dress, under a dressing room door while a female shopper tried on swimsuits at the Target store in Brentwood. And he was, uh, Mr. Forstel was convicted of invasion of privacy and intentionally filming an 11-year-old girl while she was partially nude inside a department store dressing room. We can multiply these stories over and over again. The point that we're making as Catholic Christians, the reason this is happening is because we've been silent and evil abounds because good men do nothing. Absolutely, Jesse. And I wanted to say that we're now taking the readings of Daily Mass to try and inspire our listeners because not everybody can go to Daily Mass, but we're tying it into the show. The first reading today was taken from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 14. And what struck me really struck me today is the Bible says it is necessary for us to undergo many hardships to enter the kingdom of God. Well, what did I say? What did that hit me is this. We're living in a world that acts like God doesn't exist. And so what are those hardships? Well, it is a hardship to stand up and say, I'm a Christian. This offends me and I'm not going to shop at your store. Okay. After the show, I'm walking over to Target. I've been a customer for them for decades, right? Got a credit card. I'm going over there making a file and a complaint. I said, if they don't change their policy, you just lost my business. And the reason I say this, folks, is I even say that more things change, the more things are the same. This is how Christianity spread by their witness. Like it said in the Acts of the Apostles, they were sharing God's word with folks. And you know what? Pope Paul VI said that very same thing. 
when he said this, that people listen more to uh, your witnesses than to teachers. And if they listen to teachers, it's because they're witnessing. And I share that with you because we need to be witnessing right now. And I'm going to give away a CD that really I should should help you be a better witness for us in this world that we're living in. Father Bill Casey did a CD called Lukewarm Catholicism, The Scourge of the Church. Basically says this, the reason a lot of the evil that is going on in the world today is because good people have done nothing. We've put our head in the sand. I don't want to deal with it. I'll look the other way. I'll give you two copies. Share it with your friends that are Catholic or Christian, Catholics, anyone, and see if that doesn't wake them up to realize we've been there before. I go all the way back to the 4th, 5th century. St. Pope Felix III said this, Not to oppose error is to approve it. Not to defend truth is to suppress it. And indeed, neglect to confound evil men when we can do it is no less a sin than to encourage them. I'm going to make that proposal from the Pope, St. Pope Felix III, that there are sins of omission for staying quiet. And I would encourage all of our listeners to stand up for Jesus today. And if you agree or disagree, call us at 888-526-215. And if you want the Father Bill Casey CD, that's a wake-up call. I'll give you two copies. Just call 877-526-2151. The first reading, as Terry said, the Holy Bible says, they strengthened the spirits of the disciples and, exto- and exhorted them to persevere in the faith. That's what we want to do in the Terry and Jesse show. We want to strengthen your spirits because you're disciples, and we want to exhort you to persevere in the faith. Exactly what we're doing on this radio program. Amen. And the Bible in Acts 14, today's first reading, it's necessary for us to undergo many hardships to enter the kingdom of God. In other words, you're not going to hear the prosperity gospel in this program We're going to give you the full gospel of Jesus Christ, full contact Catholicism, which basically means there's no Easter without Good Friday. And another thing I like about uh, today's readings at Mass was Psalm 145, because as we see all this nutty things happening in our country, in our society, in our culture, you ask yourself, when is this going to stop? When's the nonsense going to stop? Over the weekend, I talked to a gentleman who had done some time in prison, decades in prison. He'd been uh, locked up for, for about 30 years uh, in California, recently got out. And he had told me, he said, Jess, I do not recognize California any longer. It's not the same California when I left, when I got arrested back in the early, late 70s, early 80s. He goes, this is a complete different state. You know, apparently the guy came to his senses in prison, came to a knowledge of Jesus Christ and the Catholic faith. So now he has a moral conscience. And he says, being locked up 30 years, coming out into California, he doesn't recognize it any longer. And especially he was making reference about the t- these transgender bathroom laws. You know, the fact of the matter is, uh, this, this is occurring because as Catholics, and even as Protestants, we haven't done enough. We haven't raised our voice. And it seems to me, that the, la- the, the mainstream media, they ignore this. They never want to talk about the consequences of this liberal legislation, these, these people, these sexual predators that are being arrested. But here's the thing that nobody wants to talk about when it comes to the transgender bathroom bills. Here it is. Common sense. If you allow men into women's bathrooms, then you're going to get perverts using that law to gain access to women. This is common sense. If you allow men into women's bathrooms, then you're going to get sexual perverts who are going to use that law in their favor to gain access to women's bathrooms. I'll be honest with you. The transgender bathroom laws are a sexual predator's dreams come true. Also, I want to mention over 525,000 people have signed a boycott target uh, targeting uh, to target grocery uh, stores and it's a petition started by the American Family Association on Wednesday and 517,000 signatures just by last Monday and I would encourage you to go to that website and sign it actually you know what I would encourage you to do talk to management at the stores when you shop because they see you as a profit margin that's what they see they're not going to so much be concerned about the moral aspect, but the pocketbook is where they're going to get hit. And that's why we just say, look, we're Christian. We believe in protecting our women. 
you're encouraging sexual problems, and I'm not going to participate in that. If you agree or disagree, give us a call. Tell us why you agree or why, what you think we should be doing as a Christian community to fight the, the culture, what I call, St. John Paul II calls it the culture of death. Tell us by calling us at 888-526-2151. I'm going to encourage you also, when you get the CDs of Father Bill Casey on lukewarm Catholicism, you can also might consider getting my book, How to Share Your Faith with Anyone, because I have a whole chapter on giving you your witness story. If you haven't been taught how to share your faith and your story of your love for Jesus Christ, get the book at the same time. Call 877-526-2151. Jesse, we've got the uh, conference coming up May 14th on apologetics. Can you tell our listeners a little bit what you're going to cover there? Apologetics basically means the art and science of defending the Catholic faith. Me and my brother John are going to be doing a basic course on apologetics to teach Catholics how to share their faith, how to share the fact that they love Jesus and they love the Catholic Church. There's a connection. You can't separate Jesus, the bride, from the Catholic Church, excuse me, the, Jesus Christ, the bridegroom, from the Catholic Church, the bride. And we're going to give you some basic biblical and historical evidence so that you can see that Jesus Christ and the Catholic Church are connected. They cannot be separated. The Catholic Church is not a denomination. It is the church that Jesus Christ established. You're listening to the Terry and Jesse Show. I would recommend our listeners go to AFA.net. AFA.net. It's a good Protestant organization called American Family yep. Association Network. You have the Boycott Target Pledge at AFA.net. Please sign it. Target has crossed the line without a doubt. Absolutely. If you want to go to that apologetics conference, call 877-526-215, and we'll be right back. Back to the Terry and Jesse Show on Immaculate Heart Radio. Want to join the conversation? Call 888-526-2151. Now here's Terry and Jesse. We're talking about the transgender bathroom bills. Well, Pope Francis has something to say about the transgender bills. And let's see what Pope Francis has to say. Let me quote his words. Pope Francis says, gender ideology is demonic. Close quote. <laughs> why, doesn't he really, why doesn't the Pope really tell us what he thinks? <laughs> That's great. And the reason the Holy Father is saying this is because Bill Donahue writes this. He says, by confusing boys and girls about nature and nature's God, uh, you can only bring trouble. Only trouble will follow. You know, the whole transgender bathroom bill, this is nothing. There's no science behind it. This is all politically correct speech. And they want us to believe the, the elites, the liberals, the modernist progressives, they want us to falsely proclaim that a human person can be whatever gender they want, whenever they want, because they feel different on a given day. And there's even another term that they use, the, uh, the, what I would call the secular humanist progressives. They use the term gender fluid. Gender fluid. That means a person can flow from one gender to another, kind of like water flows down a stream. Is, is this microphone on? <laughs> Unbelievable. Can you believe this? G- the term gender fluid... It's a, it's a progressive term used by the elites, which means a person can flow from one gender to another, kind of like water flowing down the street. And 100 years ago, can you imagine the, the claim to be oh, gender geez. fluid? You know what would happen 100 years ago? They would have put you in a straight jacket. Yep. Okay? 100 years ago, if you would have said uh, that you're the opposite sex, they would have put you in a mental asylum or in a, in a straight jacket. The, the, fact is, the fact of the matter is this, okay? God made us male and female, period. This is the way he created it. It's self-evident. It's self-evident by the construction of the human body. And this could also be demonstrated that we're different by chromosomes, philosophically, and by the tradition of the church, and by the theology revealed by God. Male and female, he created them, period. There is no gender fluidity. Well said. Before we go to Jalen, I just want to encourage people to call up at 888-526-2151. And again, we're trying to wake up a sleeping giant. And I mean Christians in general. Can you imagine how many millions of Christians are in this country? And what, what are we going to do to wake them up in the sense of showing them that we have to stand up for Christ and stand up for the truth? 
If you want to get Father Bill Casey's CD, Lukewarm Catholicism, get two copies for free. Just pay the shipping. Call 877-526-2151. Jalen in Oregon, welcome to the Terry and Jesse Show. Thanks for your patience. Hey. Hey, um, how, how are you? Uh, very good. Good, good. God um, bless you. Go ahead. What's on your mind? So, this is what I was thinking. Mm-hmm. I agree with the boycotting, but I also believe that instead of just saying you're going to lose my business, you're going to have to pull your friends into it, too, mm. and effectively get friends of friends of friends, and either it's going to close them down or they're going to have to change radically. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a good point. That's what I think. We have to band together. I, I like your idea. Get get others on board the bandwagon. I think they will back down. That's my take. If enough people come and say... You're going to lose money over this. I think their their devotion to the transgender program will go way down because every business there is out to make money, and if they're going to lose money, that's when you get their attention. So I want to thank you. That that makes total sense. And I always also say, even if they don't want to back down, you close them down. <laughs> I got it. Hey, thanks for you your know, even if <laughs> I would even say even if the even if you don't have enough friends, get other people to boycott them on not enough stock. I would do that with Walmart any day if they started doing that because uh, I, I'm, I go to Pendleton. Their shelves are almost empty. We're rattling raving. So if if we can't get them on moral issues, we can definitely get them on stock. We can close down the big chains, which are the power brokers. Got it. Hey, thanks for your comments. Yes, I'm looking at AmericanFamily.AFA.net, and it says right now, I mean, this thing is just ticking. Over 700,000 people have signed the boycott. Over 700,000 people. Because we're talking here about Target's uh, transgender bathroom laws. We believe without a doubt, as people of faith, Catholics and Protestants, Jews and people of goodwill, that Target has crossed the line by intentionally exposing women and girls to voyeurs and sexual predators with the restroom and dressing room policies we urge our listeners to go to AFA.net and sign the boycott against Target. As of now, over 700,000 people are making their voice heard, and the thing is ticking. That's very good news. That's the body of Christ at work. We're going to go to Peter in Bakersfield and other calls of people calling up all over. Peter, welcome to the Terry and Jesse Show. What's your thoughts? Thank you. Thank you, Peter. You know, I... I... I think we're going about about this the wrong way. Okay. I think that we should urge businesses to make uh, uh, restrooms just for one person instead of instead of these restrooms where there's a lot of stalls in there. That way, when somebody goes in there, they don't have to worry about anybody. They just go in there, and there's only one person in that in that restroom. And I think that would take care of a lot of these problems. You know, Peter, have uh, you have you seen the bathrooms where they say family bathroom? There's three bathrooms. There's the ladies room. There's the men's room, uh-huh. and then they have a family bathroom. Have you seen those? Right. That's exactly what they have. Uh, it's a one-stall yep. bathroom, and uh, someone else uh-huh. mentioned that, and I thought that that was probably a good idea. That way you have the safety for the kids and the wives and the, your daughter. So I, I appreciate that comment. Yep. You, you have seen those, haven't sure. you not, Peter? I'm sorry? Have you seen bathrooms where it says family bathroom? You know what? I haven't really paid that much attention to them, but... I've been thinking about it ever yeah. since this law passed. Okay. Instead of dealing with it, you know, we're dealing with it the, the wrong way. We're not going to win this battle uh, fighting them. This And there's not that many transgender people that I think that, that you know, we have to, we should worry about them, you know. Yeah. We're, P- Peter, the percentage is 0.02%. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, oh, gosh. No. Let Jesse make a comment. I, I'll, I'll be quiet. I want to hear okay. Jess's thoughts, too. Cause, go ahead, Jess. Peter, I'll be honest with you. The, the reason we're even having this discussion with so, such a small percentage of the population, there's a great article written by Maggie Gallagher. She basically, here's the title of the article. It answers your question. It says, the most important thing social conservatives could do in the 2016 cycle is to demonstrate to Democrats that extremism in pushing unisex showers on public schools or oppressing gay marriage dissenters will cost them the White House. Maggie Gallagher basically writes this uh, article and saying, the reason all of this is happening 
She says it's because the Democrats are pushing this. And guess what? They have well over 100 corporations that are backing them up and that are threatening to withhold, uh, you know, funding of uh, philanthropic causes and basically just supporting this LGBT. This, this all falls under the umbrella of the LGBT movement. And so the transgender is just a subdivision. And so all we have to do is basically follow the money and see that we have corporate America that's uh, basically they're using their money uh, to try to twist the arms of businesses and people to accept this. And again, common sense has gone out the window. God's word's gone out the window. And uh, these are the people that I would call the culture of debt that John Paul II speaks about. Peter, thanks for your call, brother. God love you. Thank you. You bet, Peter. Before we go to Lisa, we've got lots of calls. I want to get people involved, not only going on the website and protesting this. We do. We we should do that. But also, I want to give you a couple CDs that I think will wake up people about their Catholic faith. Father Bill Casey used to say the most merciless thing we can do for someone is let someone wallow in their sins. So we have to speak up. He's got a CD called Lukewarm Catholicism. I'll give you two copies. You just pay the shipping. Call 877 877- Five two six two one five one. That's eight seven seven five two six two one five one. Lisa in Riverside, welcome to the Terry and Jesse show. Hi, hi, um, Lisa. I wanted to say something too. Good. Hi. Um, you know, Pope Francis, before he was the Pope, he yeah. um, wrote. Um, it's on the EWTN site about cosmetics and pets, and he said, you know, you're either going to worship one or the other. Mm-hmm. And um, he said, when women wear cosmetics, he said that it is a um, a sign of that you're wearing a costume. And he said it's <laughs> unnecessary. And a lot of women don't want to hear this. But if you look at the fashions today sure. and what Hollywood's done, you know, Bruce Jenner is trying to make himself the woman. You know, she, it's all about her makeup and her tight pants yeah. and her jewelry. And, and you see women are, I think they're disordered too because they're so into my face and my makeup. And there's like 20 different layers, you know, you go to the mall and then the perfume and, and Bishop Bolton Jean said that true beauty was, he said, the more you apply, it's, it was on a three to get married. That's right. EWTN, that That's book, right. it's on there. Uh-huh. And he said, the less beauty of soul. Yep. And you look at Mother Mary, I mean, she's our model, and no one's dressing like her today. I mean, you've got Carmel Siri years ago, you know, and he talked about women wearing pants. And he said, all human order would be lost if we put them in there. I mean, we're wearing men's clothing. Yeah. And look at now, you've got the transvestites wearing these leotards that are leggings and the women it's all sexual. It's just a sexual, chaotic mess, you know. Yeah. And you look at Cher Bono. She would sing, I'm a tramp, I'm a scamp, I'm a bit of an amp. And you see this woman. And the child, Chastity, saw her mom, and she was like, she didn't want to be a mom. Because that's not the real version of what a woman's supposed to be. And I think a lot of women are sexualizing their children without knowing it. And these guys are confused, and they don't want that kind of woman. And they're, oh, maybe I do like a man. Right. I and mean, look at little Chastity. She thought she was a guy. I mean, who wants to be a tramp as a mom, you know, yep. or the way she her mom dressed? It yep. wasn't. It was not in the image of God that magnified the Lord. Amen. And we're not set free until we start looking at Mother Mary. And I think that's the answer: is Mother Mary, and not Hollywood and Bruce Jenner's version of who I'm supposed yeah. to be as a woman. And that we can get back. If, if we have to look at Mother Mary. She's the answer. Absolutely, Lisa. I hear the music. We got to. We got to take a break. I thank you for your call. Common sense isn't that common. That's what G.K. Chesterton said. Yep. He's on the bot. Hey, if you want to call us, call us at 888-526-2151. If you want to get those free CDs of Father Bill Casey, that number is triple. Excuse me. It's 887-526-2151. We'll be right back. Back to the Terry and Jesse Show on Immaculate Heart Radio. Want to join the conversation? Call 888-526-2151. Now here's Terry and Jesse. Welcome back to the Terry and Jesse Show is Right. We are too blessed to be stressed, too anointed to be disappointed, and if hope was money, we would all be billionaires. Before I go to Al in San Diego, we're talking about the people who have signed, over 725,000 people signed a boycott to Target because they're giving a transgender bathroom policy. They're going to allow anybody who says, I feel like I'm a woman, to use the women's bathroom, and we just demonstrated earlier in the show all these uh, people who have been secretly going in. They're perverts filming women getting undressed or trying on bathing suits. All this is going to happen. Of course, you open up the door, 
And so we want to stop it by, I'm saying, protest. And before I go to Al, you're welcome to join us, especially if you don't agree with us. I'd like to hear why you don't think it's a good idea uh, not to protest. I, you know, call me at 888-526-215. And, but I want to be, give you a little, a little powerful note by how powerful Immaculate Heart Radio's arm reach is. We got an email from a seminarian from East Africa who listens to our show. What? Yes. And he's saying that he loves listening. He gets a lot out of uh, listening to our show. He gets a lot out of the website. He loves these CDs and books that we offer. Now, he can't afford Bishop Sheen's Life is Worth Living, okay, because he doesn't have the funds to do that. But we're going to give it away to him. We're going to send him some CDs, some Bishop Sheen material, because you, our listener, is supporting the Terry and Jesse show. And if you want to get any of the material we offer, especially right now, Father Bill Casey's CD set, uh, he's a single CD, but I'm giving two copies, Lukewarm Catholicism, call the 877-526-2151 number, get those and pass them out to your friends. And if you want to join in on the conversation, that number's a little different, it's 888-526-2151, that's 888-526-2151. Al in San Diego, welcome to the Terry and Jesse show. Al, thank you guys he, for standing up. Yeah, go ahead, brother. I can, I can hear you now. Go ahead, loud and clear. Okay, yeah, um, it was maybe ten or so years ago, and uh, the LGBT people. I read an article where they were going to try and include in this in the LGBT um, group. They were going to want to put adult child sex in there with them. Oh. But they knew that it wouldn't go. And that's the next thing on the horizon, that uh, they're going to lower the, the age of uh, consent. And as awful as it sounds, I, I even hate to bring terrible, it up to terrible. people. They're, they're kinda look at, they they, they kind of look at me like, oh, man, you're sick. But 30 years ago, who would have thought that uh, gay marriage would be where it is now and uh, homosexuality you know, being accepted as it is? And so, you know, where, where are we going to draw the line as uh, Christians? We, we really have to get together with our Protestant brothers and, uh, and, and really fight this. Um, I, I wish you could give that, uh, um, that website that we could uh, uh, yeah, we'll do it again. go after Target. Sure, let's do it, Jesse. Okay, that, that's all I wanted to say. Thanks, Al. Yep. The website is afa.net, afa.net. That's American Family Association. Network, they're a, a, a good fa- Protestant group. family association that they seem to be in line with the Catholic Church on the culture war issues of the day. By the way, Al said something that, uh, in fact, there's a, there's an organization called NAMBLA, uh, North American Man Boy Love Association. Oh, terrible. And uh, this is an organization that promotes man boy sex. They're on the internet. And they've been defended from one state to another by the ACLU. And so what Al is talking about, trust me, that's not too far from the horizon because there's already an organization called North American Man Boy Love Association where this is exactly what they're trying to promote because they do it already within their group. I just want to tell you what Jesus said today. I want to give you hope. John 14, 27, today's gospel. Okay, because we, we're about giving people hope. Jesus said to his disciples, and by the way, we're his disciples. He says, peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give it to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me tell you, I am going away and I will come back to you. Now notice what Jesus Christ says. What's the difference between the peace that Jesus gives us and the peace that the world gives us? Well, what's the peace of the world? Well, remember those two fingers that you put up back in the 60s, the hippie peace? Peace to the world means, hey, free love, medical marijuana, do what you feel like. If it feels good, do it. That's the world's definition of peace with their two fingers sticking up. Jesus' definition of peace is us getting to heaven. Why? Because we're reconciled to God the Father by what Jesus Christ did for us on Calvary. That's where our peace, serenity, consolation come from. Knowing that we're children of God, we are on our way from to heaven. Peace doesn't come from sticking your two fingers up and saying, hey, buddy, that's cool. Have a good day. Well said, Jesse. And I just want to mention, wow, I just want to mention this, that 
It's all about giving yourself to Christ, okay? We're doing it his way, not our way. And I always encourage people, I say this all the time, that in hell, there's a song they sing. You know what the song they sing? It goes, I did it my way. And there's a song we sing in heaven. I know we say about praising God, but you know what other song we sing? I'm convinced I did it his way. I'm encouraging everybody listening to not do it your way. Give yourself to Christ. You know, there's a freedom in giving yourself to God because once you do that, your life will change. That's as simple as that. And I'm going to encourage our people right now to ask Jesus Christ every day for more faith. If this is the first time you've heard that, I'm going to encourage you to go to confession if you haven't been in a long time. We need people who are in the state of grace, right, that are living the faith to fight this battle. And I'm going to encourage you to do that because this is how we win. We win because Jesus Christ is the victor. And if we know that every action is like a blank check, if we give it to Jesus, we have value. If we do it ourselves, there's no value. Give yourself to Christ. Let's turn this around. When Jesus Christ says in today's gospel at Mass, today's gospel reading in John chapter 14, that he wants to give you peace, my peace I leave with you. Yeah. And you're wondering, okay, so what does that really mean? Here's what the saints and doctors of the church say about that verse. You want to know where peace comes from? Nope. It doesn't come from going to the Woodstock concert. <laughs> nope. It doesn't come from going to a rock and roll concert and taking your clothes off and smoking pot. No. Peace comes from doing the will of God. Amen. When you're doing the will of God, you f- your, your soul is flooded with peace and joy and serenity and consolation. When you're not doing the will of God, the catechism says you have remorse of conscience, remorse of conscience. And I'm telling you, society, those people that are pushing the transgender bathroom bill laws, they're not doing the will of God. Well, and so their their conscience is going to have remorse, if not in this life, in the next life. You know what happens in hell? The catechism says everybody in hell has perpetual remorse of conscience. Perpetual remorse of conscience. Those of us that are fighting the bathroom, transgender bathroom law, how? By prayer and by our voice. By, pr- by, by as, as it says, the old Latin phrase, ora et labora. Pray and labor. Pray and vote. Pray and sign that petition. Those of us that are fighting against this evil law, we are on the side of God. We're doing the will of God. One more time, let me quote the Pope. One more time, for those that didn't hear it. What does Pope Francis say about the whole transgender issue? I'm going to quote him. He says this, quote, Pope Francis, Transgender ideology is demonic. Transgender ideology is demonic. The Pope has spoken. Well said, well said. And, you know, I want to encourage people. Uh, about two years ago, we had an individual call the show who had some manifestation of evil. We prayed with them on the radio. Maybe you actually heard this. But that person gave themselves to Christ by repeating prayers that we had offered to them. And I think I want to give that CD away. And I'll tell you why. Because the demonic that's out there right now in the world, there's a lot of people contaminated with demonic means because they've been delving into the culture of death. And if you want to get two copies of an amazing conversion of someone who's gone into deep into the occult in the sense of, of the wine, women, and song, and let Jesse and myself repray him back to the faith. This is something that I think is a wake-up call, too. I mean, you can get Father Bill Casey's CDs, but if you want two copies of an amazing, it, what I call a little deliverance prayer right on the radio, it'll touch you. Call 877-526-2151. That's 877-526-2151. Don't forget also that number. You can register for the Apologetics Conference, the Defending the Faith Conference, that's coming up May 14th here at the Sacred Heart Chapel. You can go to our website, catholicrc.org. But I would encourage you to sign up now because we are running out of space. We can only take a couple hundred people. Call 877-526-2151. There's a rape survivor that talks about the transgender bathroom bills. Let me quote. Her name's Kaylee Triller. Here's what she says. She says, let me be clear. I'm not saying that transgender people are predators, not by a long shot. What I am saying is that there are countless deviant men in this world who will pretend to be transgenders as a means of gaining access to the people they want to exploit, namely women and children. 
there are countless deviant men in this world who will pretend to be transgender as a mean of gaining access to the people they want to exploit. Now, this is a rape victim that is just writing this. She says, I'm just quoting bits, bits and pieces. She says, it is nothing short of negligent to institute policies that elevate the emotional comfort of a relative few people over the physical safety of a large group of vulnerable people. She says, don't they know anything about predators? Don't they know the numbers? That out of every hundred rapes, only two rapists will spend so much as a single day in jail while the other 98 rapists walk free and hang out in our midst. And, and uh, we'll, we'll continue. She's got some very good points. The point that I'm making is this. The transgender bathroom laws are a sexual predator's dreams come true. When we come back, we'll take your calls. Call 888-526-2151. Don't move that dial. We're going to come right back with amazing information. We'll be right back. to the Terry and Jesse show on Immaculate Heart Radio. Want to join the conversation? Call 888-526-2151. Now here's Terry and Jesse. This is the Terry and Jesse show. We're back. We're talking about the transgender bathroom bills. Go to afa.net, afa.net, sign the petition. Over 700,000 people have signed this up. You know what? The world is wrong on this issue. The secular humanist world is wrong. As Pope Francis has said, Gender ideology is demonic. God is right. God created them male and female. What we have here is a misuse of words. Science doesn't back this up. Male and female, God created them. That's what the Bible says. It's self-evident. It's obvious. It's demonstrated by science, by chromosomes. And the fact is what we have here is politically correct speech. Verbal engineering. When you change the meaning of words, you change the definition of words. Verbal engineering turns to, turns to social engineering. Let's go to Sal in Bakersfield. You're on, Sal. Yes. Hi. How are you guys doing? Great, brother. Go ahead. All right. Well, my comment today is uh, we've heard a lot about, you know, uh, the danger for women and kids with this new law, especially with uh, Target, you know, uh, staging the front for that. Uh, but also, I feel uh, uh, as a family man, you know, I have four kids, one in the way. Uh, it could be also a very dangerous thing uh, for for men, you know, because uh, especially, uh, Jesse, with your law enforcement background, you know that there's also women out there that are just accusing men of, uh, you know, abuse mm-hmm. and not being true, you know. But my understanding is that once you get accused of that, it, that stays on your record, whether it was true or not. So I wouldn't want my kids to, to you know, if and if God, you know, God forbid that ever happened to me, you know, that you know that woman goes in there and accuses me of something, and now um, my daughters and my wife have to live with my label that you know, even if we can prove that it wasn't true, you know, it opens up that door for women also, you know, accusing uh, men of of stuff like that, you know, if they're allowed in the men's bedroom as well. Good point. Sal, you're, ab- you Sal you're, you're absolutely right. Let's just be realistic. It cuts both ways. Yep. You also yep. have, we've, see, we've seen just in the public schools in the last couple of years, you have public, female public school teachers that are having sex with students, with underage students. So your point is well taken. You're absolutely right. It cuts both ways. I think women have more to fear, but you're right. It could also work the other way. Good point, Sal. Good call. Thanks for listening to the Terry and Jesse Show. Before we go to Elizabeth, a priest called and said, if this unisex uh, bathrooms continue, he said they're going to be turned into sexual relief rooms. I mean, I'm sorry. He's right. That's sad to say that. It was really sad. But, Father, thanks for your call and your text to me. Let's go to Elizabeth in San Marco. Uh, Elizabeth, welcome to the Terry and Jesse Show. San Mateo, Mateo. named after St. Matthew. Great. Yeah. Um, And guys, thanks for bringing this up about uh, Target. But also here in California, there's a very important bill that's going to go to the floor of the Assembly this Thursday. Good. AB 1732. AB 1732. It would tear down men, women, boys, and girls from the doors of single single user restrooms statewide and replace them with a pro transsexuality all gender sign. Wait, 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 wait. Is this microphone on? A B seventeen thirty two says Yes. Unbel- 
Wait, wait a minute. Is this the Twilight Zone, or is this really real? I tell you, Ross believe- Serling couldn't come up with this stuff. Exactly. Elizabeth, thank you uh, for mentioning that. One more time, it's AB 1732. 1732. Who do we call? Call your, call Congress- your state assembly okay. person and tell them you do not, because this is opening the doors. It's for single bathrooms so far, but you know it's going to get worse and it's going to be, you know. Um, you can go to SaveCalifornia.com. Save SaveCalifornia.com. California. Everyone, please go there, and you can read all about it. And there's people who are on the committees and all that you can call Great. and uh, give your opinion to them also. Elizabeth, thank you for uh, speaking the truth and taking the time to call us and to alert us of that. We have the best listeners. I thank you so much. You know, you're awesome. Keep up the good work, God bless Elizabeth. you both. God love you. Thank you. Bye-bye. The way we can stop this, you have to go right to the root cause. There's a good article. We, we put it on our Twitter. It's out there on our Twitter account. Uh, and it's a phenomenal article, which basically tells us how to stop it. Of course, we've got to sign the petition, yep. and we've got to pray and fast. Of course, we've had to do those things. But the article I'm referring to, it was written by Maggie Gallagher. Okay, And uh, the, uh, the article basically says this. The most important thing social conservatives could do in 2016 cycle. And then she says this, is to demonstrate to Democrats Amen. that extremism in pushing unisex showers on public schools or oppressing gay marriage dissenters will cost them the White House. It's a great article. Maggie Gallagher is a voice of reason and common sense and truth. She's basically saying, guys, wake up. Uh, it's coming from the Democrat Party. And I'm saying this as some, being somebody apolitical. I'm just reading the article here. okay? And what the article basically says is that people of faith such as us, if we know it's coming from that party, just remember, all I can tell you, when it comes time to vote, remember that. Because especially you that have children and grandkids, this is going to affect our kids and grandkids. The Catholic faith right now, more and more, it, 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 it appears like the, the words of St. Athanasius. Amen. I can hear it over. As St. Athanasius fought against the Arian heresy back in the 4th century, and he was exiled from his diocese five times. He was sent to prison. Why? Because he was preaching and defending the divinity of Jesus Christ against the heretics and the Arian heresy. And you know what he used to yell from jail? He would say, Athanasius against the world. In Latin, he would say, Athanasius <laughs> contra mundum. And you know what? Right now, I'm saying this to all our listeners. It's Catholicism against the world. Who are we going to choose? And in today's reading at Holy Mass, Jesus Christ gave me a whole lot of encouragement and a whole lot of enthusiasm. Jesus Christ says, peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Not as the world gives do I give it to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me tell you I'm going away and I will come back to you. And why does Jesus Christ say this? He says that at the end of, the, at the end of this passage of today's reading at Mass, He says, for the ruler of this world is coming. Who's the ruler of this world? The devil. And Jesus says, he has no power over me. Wow. Awesome. That touched my heart this morning at Mass. Repeat yourself to that. Though the devil is behind all this stuff, we know that. Repeat yourself throughout the day. The devil has no power over me because Jesus told me, the devil has no power over me and my peace that Jesus gives me comes from doing the will of God because heaven is our home. We're not going to he- be here that long. Remember, there's 50 states in this great country of ours. You, you know, it's not about living in California or Arizona or Texas. It's about living in the state of grace. And I'll tell you what we don't want to do. It's not about living in Idaho or, or Iowa or Montana or Wisconsin. It's about not living in the state of mortal sin. Well said, and Jesse nailed it. Give yourself to Christ. When you give yourself to Christ, it's a free will act. See, the only value in saying yes to God is you have the freedom to say no. And I would encourage all of our listeners to continually ask Jesus Christ for more faith every single day. And when Jesse said uh, that the rulers of this world are coming, he says 
He, the devil, has no power over me. But he says, but the world must know that I love the Father and that I do just as the Father has commanded me. What is the command for us? To spread the love of Jesus Christ around the world. It's been that way for 2,000 years. And here's the point. How did early Christians pass on the faith to a pagan world similar to the world we're living in right now? You know how they did it? By their love and their example. And they weren't afraid to talk to people about Jesus Christ and share their love, their love story. Folks, share your love story for Jesus Christ because the world is looking for it and it's looking in all the wrong places. And I'm going to say this right now, sins of omission. We, we as Christians, we have to stand up because as St. Pope Felix III said in the 5th century, not to oppose error is to approve it. Right now, if we just shut up and say nothing, we're approving it. He says, and not to defend truth is to suppress it. And indeed, to neglect to confound evil men when we can do is no less a sin than to encourage them. We do have evil men all over this world right now stepping on our rights as Christians. Are we going to let them step on us and say, oh, well, or get your head out of the spiritual, you know, head in the sand and say, look, I'm going to stand up. I love Jesus Christ so much that I'm willing to take a hit for this. As a matter of fact, we said it earlier, the Bible in Acts 14 says, it is necessary for us to undergo many hardships to enter the kingdom of God. Folks, the Terry and Jesse show are going to say things like marriages between a man and a woman. There could be a time when they say, you know what? That's a hate crime. You're gone. You're in jail. You know what? We'll preach the word in jail. That's my take. That's right. As Catholics and even Protestants and people of goodwill, we've got to wake up and we've got to stand together. Because you see what's going on right now. This is going to affect. See, I'm 54 years old. I say, well, I've only got about 20 years left. But I care about my kids and their kids, my grandkids. And the fact of the matter is we've got to do something about it. Guess what? Hillary Clinton, I've got a message for you. This is the true war on women. Hillary Clinton, do something about it right now. And the last thing I'll say this. I'd much rather risk hurting the feelings of a small transgender minority with this transgender bathroom bill than risk jeopardizing the safety of thousands of women's and kids with a policy that gives sexual predators a free pass to go into those restrooms. I'm encouraging men to man up. Let's do it, guys. Let's protect our women. If you want to get the Father Bill Casey CDs on lukewarm Catholicism that should motivate us all to be stronger Christians, Call 877-526-2151. That's 877-526-2151. Let's leave you on that quote. When good men do nothing, evil abounds. Let's make sure that doesn't happen here at the Terry and Jesse Show. May God richly bless you and your family.